Hey guys, Desolator Magic here with the, I guess, quarterly tradition of the pre-release post-game report. That took 11 takes for me to get that right. So with Ravnica Allegiance, it was the same problems as Guilds of Ravnica, but this was way better. The last pre-release was fun, but pretty bad. Like from a fairness standpoint, like a gameplay, just basically anything other than the people there are cool and we tell jokes. Yeah, Guilds of Ravnica was pretty bad in case you didn't go to that one. Very unbalanced, very unfun mechanics. I mean, you could go watch my video on it. It was overwhelmingly negative. This one, though, they managed to flip it around. I mean, there was no one guild that seemed to take over. I mean, there was a lot of varying skill levels there, so there's that. But it just didn't seem like, oh, like the top six at the end were all the same guild. And there didn't seem like a dump guild either. I mean, you would think Rakdos would be overall the best with maybe Gruul in first or second place. Those seem like the best to me. But that's in, like, color concept. In actual practice with, you know, where the best cards are in the rarity, so rare, uncommon, or common, it is not the creatures with control to back it up colors unless you really pull some miracles. All the best, like black and red removal honestly is in like the last four or five sets so normally that color combination would be good but this specifically unless you got an amazing pack was not the best at all in fact we had one person out of oh there had to have been 20 or 30 probably closer to 30 people at that event only one of them chose rakdos so it must have been even worse than i looked i mean i, I didn't pay that close of attention to what was what i was just like i don't know simic looks cool and i chose them my pool was horrific. I did get, like, a, a functional deck out of it. It was just a very boring, vanilla, zero bomb, zero dominating card decks. It was like I was playing with, like, a really okay welcome deck, I guess. Unlike everything in the deck cost four. So I just went with a whole bunch of adapt, and I had the flash in counter spell thing. That was cool. I mean, I even had Simic Ascendancy, and, like, okay... That's, that's kind of cool, because that drops counters onto stuff slowly for three. But my other five packs had a grand total of, no, I'm not kidding, six green cards in them. This is the problem with seeded packs. It always has been, and it always will be. I chose Simic. I opened the Simic booster. Cool, Simic cards. Then I opened the other five. If your other five don't have very good Simic cards, you are going to lose. Now, the funny thing is I actually did pretty well. Even the rounds I lost, I ended up uh, winning one of the um, uh, games. But by round three, it was a complete blowout. I mean, I was playing against people that were... They just had way better, faster decks than me. So everything in my deck cost four, but almost everything, like I'd say 75% of the creatures, had adapt. So if I got to a high mana amount, so I actually ran 18 lands in a 41-card deck or 41 card deck... I would actually run them over, and I did. I got the 8-8 Trample Person. I actually had two of those, so that's not bad. But uh, one Flyer, no Ooze, no Octopus Hydra, just nothing real special in there, honestly. No good colorless. Couldn't really splash a color or anything, because the funny thing is my other colors were, like, even worse. Like, I was just, oh my gosh. I looked at the black one, and it was, oh, it had to have been 70% reject cards. Uh, the red color was actually pretty solid, and I pulled a ton of red cards, so that was a shame. There were some really good cards in there. And then white, I think I had a grand total of, like, eight white cards. And, like, black and red, I pulled, like, 50% of the damn card pool, so the colors were, like, really unbalanced, which, you know, it happens, whatever. But, um, my deck would lose to Control, because I only had 12 creatures, believe it or not. That was a little bit of a problem. So if they start blowing away creatures, it's going to hurt, especially if I already adapted them. And then anything really, really, really fast. Luckily, I didn't play against a whole bunch of that. I mean, a, a Gruul with Color Splash with a lot of low cost, uh, he got me pretty good. I got him one game, though, so, like, it wasn't a disaster. It's just, it was the most boring vanilla crap deck, and I had, like, quite a few v literally vanilla creatures in it. There was no fun effects, no crazy mythics, no hyper unique cards. It was just, like, blah, so, you know, whatever. This was playable and did okay, but I was a little bit disappointed with it, but I've had a lot worse. But that said, everybody was having fun. A couple people really didn't like their pools, but still. I mean, there wasn't like a big, oh, you pulled the dominant card, you're going to dominate the whole event. I just didn't see much of that. There were actually really few game enders in the rare mythic slot. So that was really nice. That's a big difference from, I don't know, stuff like Eldritch Moon. I think maybe M19 was like that. I don't even remember. Maybe Dominaria was one that was just, you pull a bomb or you don't. So every round, every game, it felt like you had a chance, no matter who your matchup was against, what colors you were running, any of that. So that's kind of cool. So like the best pool, the worst pool, they weren't that far apart. 
And that's really, really, really nice. I mean, that's very important. Like I said, overall, the guilds didn't seem to have one standout guild that just crushed everybody else. So very, very, very good pre-release. One of the best I've ever been to. And the other cool thing was the people. So shout out to all my peeps there. Really just nice, cool, funny people, friendly. You know, nobody there was like having a bad time or had a big grumpy attitude or was just, you know, miserable the whole time because, oh no, I lost one game, which is how my old LGS would absolutely be. I mean, I've even had people winning. They go like 4-0 and going into the fifth round, they're like, oh yeah, but I didn't pull any money cards. Yeah, I get it, pre-release is expensive and I was kind of pissed that I only pulled one money card myself, but, uh... Kind of mostly there to have fun. But then again, I have like a grand worth of, uh, you know, product coming in next week and I sell cards. So that kind of has to contribute to me not giving a crap about what one pre-release is. I mean, opening six boosters. Oh boy, who cares? But I'm still a total like broke ass cheapo. So like I kind of get that. So the only other bad thing was the weather. I mean, it's just, you know, stuff you can't really control. Like my pool was crap and the weather was crap. Like whatever. I'm not going to let that ruin the event. And I had a ton of fun. I mean, I was hand-drawn silly tokens and stuff, and just, you know, we were all messing around, telling jokes, talking about stuff. It's a riot, so hey, if you haven't gone to a pre-release, please do, and if you missed this one, or something came up, or you're just kind of on the fence, see if your LGS has a Saturday or Sunday event, because you should go to it. This is a very, very, very good set to have a pre-release event for. It's fair, it's fun, it's balanced, and you don't have to go Golgari just to take a one in, what is it, one in six shot at a... 50 plus dollar card yeah everybody went golgari at the other one too and golgari was also pretty good that was annoying i mean i would write off the last pre-release it's, it's virtually just a complete disaster honestly so i'm surprised with practically the same design they turned it around so that's wonderful honestly i bet draft will be pretty good too so this is definitely the set for sealed so great news all around hopefully you guys had fun at yours leave your crazy stories about what happened at yours down below and i will see you guys next video